All right, YouTubers and general public. Break the Strat and NP series. Back in the day, you bought one. You had a service ban for 10 cents. I don't post a lot of things because I don't make money off of it. But I chose to do this because this is all about a little animal down there. Which I found pretty fascinating and I could not find nothing on it other than an MP motor. So, this is a Farm Master generator. Sold by Sears, Roebuck and Company. Um, about 15 volts, 12 volt. Um, and you notice here, I'm going to get to this in a little bit here, but anyway, it's a. Uh, yeah, Farm Master. 600 watt. I have my camera retuned for close ups here. And it shows here the weight of the oil 10 in the winter, 20 in the summer, 10 in the winter. Use a cross country spark plug, whatever that is. The engine is a Briggs and Stratton model UL or NP, I'm sorry, a yell, took my head. Um, down there is a bottom of the tag, there's a valve clearance type. I tried googling the crap out of this thing. I found stuff on Briggs & Stratton NP series motors and N series, the washing machine motors, uh, WMs, I could not find a Sears Roebuck Farm Master generator attached to this motor. Uh, buddy's here in my garage tonight and he was saying that, um, well, yeah, he bought it as a freaking as a, an accessory. And I disagree now because why would this tag here show the weight of oil? I think that this is a Sears Roebuck. I'm sorry, Sears, Roebuck and Company deal. Um, updraft carburetor, oil bath, um, the cap, or the rain cap, I assume, is missing. Got a nice little floppy thing clip on here. Had a little knurled nut holding the wire on for the smart power plug. And I lost it. Ah! I'll find it. It's somewhere around here. And then the generator. Pull start with a rope, of course. That's actually a rope off of one of my Johnson snowmobiles for emergency starting. So it is 115 volts, and it's got a little deal here for the battery. I don't get what this is all about. So I implore you to. Let me know what year this is and what the push button thing is all about. I see there's like a little there's a, an innards over there. That really there looks kind of horrible. But hey, the thing works. It's, it's pretty amazing. Um, I seen where somebody dated uh, the U, uh, NP motors back to 1947. If you do the math, 30. 47, 50, 70, I didn't graduate by the way, ah, 74 years old, 73 years old, that's true, this thing was built 14 years before I was born and I'm pushed in the 60s, so, oh well, ah, service appointments, um, clean the carburetor, Somebody, this is not the original color either, by the way. Somebody, this this has been rebuilt before. The cross hatch, the piston is freaking gone, but um, which, by the way, is a two inch bore, three inch stroke. And um, but somebody, I think, had been gone well, in 74 years. I think somebody will probably rebuilt it because it works now. And uh, yeah, we're gonna fire it up there and make some noise. I ran my little electric corded drill off of it, but. For this test here, 
we're gonna run we're gonna load it with this this <laughs> generic fucking mortar here I mean really Tumpkin solid on that heat uh, Tumpkin solid I see a label here um, the Tumpkin Detroit Axle Company Jackson Michigan Woohoo! Is a 110 quarter horsepower pulls 2.8 amps. How that converts to wattage for a 600 watt generator, I have no idea. I haven't tried it yet, and we're gonna find out. Okay, what else I want to say? Um, I pulled the cover off. The brushes are nice, and the commentator. Um, I just did a little emery cloth on that thing. Looks like a sieve. A needle. I didn't see any, there's a brass seat and a steel needle. The needle looks like it's been in there for 74 years. The, um, they're supposed to have a little knurled knob here for controlling the governor. Here's a funky little gear driven governor somewhere. I did build a new base for it. And, um, let's see it run. Bear with me. I do not know how to I'm put this on a tripod here. I don't know how to mute and make videos, so I'm gonna fire it up with our start. Then we're gonna plug in motor. Maybe it'll come over here. And then I'll get a little closer view of and see if the actual the motor will stall the thing out. Alright, meanwhile this nice little balmy third degrees out. I'm gonna open the door up. The thing does smoke a little bit. Almost 2 a.m. piece. So the neighbors aren't very happy about this. I don't really care. Thank God for democracy. Alright, this is what happens here. I'm going to start it, but if it starts, I can open the petcock quick like because it does flood out if it just sits here.
there you have it. <laughs> 70 some years old. Maybe, well, 47 and 52 maybe. Please add to the comments on what year this thing is like actually. Include my little fucking Timkin little uh, motor here. It didn't, oh, I should put some oil in here, but it didn't. Yeah. ACDC, freaking uh, Farm Master Generator, Sears, Sears Roebuck. Back in the day, when they pay for this, well, the manual was 10 cents, I got that. So, thanks for watching. Now, if you look for a search on YouTube, Google uh, Farm Master of the NP Motor. Now we got her. Be safe and have a good night. Actually, 2 a.m. I don't have any cops coming yet. Oh well. Thanks for watching.